Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to our Blood Elf Hunter's Journey through Wrath of the Lich King Classic. Thank you guys very much for clicking on the video and joining me here today. I do appreciate it, and I hope that you are all doing well. Today we're going to head out to the west. We are going to finish the stuff we have to do along the coast, including getting the cargo. We have a murloc quest to grab up this way. And then we will head down into the Scorched Grove, and we'll pay a visit to Rune Warder Darien. We'll do all this stuff, and then that will leave us with the troll quest on the eastern side of the zone after that. Anaria Shola, the reckoning is at hand. Southeril can justice. have his party Shola. now. We have gathered all of the supplies that he requested. And we see some fireworks going off because of that. Just one firework, apparently. I'm actually going to head over here first. Let's head over here. We'll grab this Murloc quest. And I'm pretty sure we can do this one. And then if we turn that in, we should get a quest for a named Murloc. Then we can kind of work on that and the cargo together. Ahead. Greetings, Hunter. Take a look toward the shore. What do you see? That's right, our beach, our tranquil shore, has been infested with the malignancy known as the Murloc. This blight will not stand. I have a task for you. If you feel you're up to it, I would have their heads. Let us see if you can put a dent in their numbers so large that if they have any sense at all, they will return to the murky depth from which they sprang. Salama Ashalanore. I kind of want to disable stealth so that my pet is not uh, is not kind of skull. I want him to run in. I, I don't really want him to uh, to stalk in. I'd rather have him charge up. Yeah, that's that's more of what I want.
All right, that's actually eight out of eight. Let's go turn this one in. He should have a follow-up to take on the named Murloc. Baladash, Malanore. Remember the sun well. We will have justice. The Grimscale Murlocs have not been scared off by your efforts, but I think I know what will send them packing, as well as get me some personal retribution. They have a Murloc chieftain that calls himself Rumagrul. It wanders the Golden Strand, south of the River Inlet. The beast once slew a compatriot of mine, and now wears his ring in open defiance and mockery. Slay him and bring back my friend's ring. Then we shall see these monsters code. Death to all who oppose us. Well, there's his body. I hope that means we will catch a respawn a little bit further down the coast. We picked up an item that starts a quest. Interesting. What you have found here is a waterproofed leather tube containing a number of sheets of parchment. By the markings upon them, the pages are clearly navigation rudders, and each bears the signature of one Captain Calisandra. Alright, now we just have to patrol up and down the coast until we get lucky enough to find the named guy. Might want to do some fighting along the way though. Let's see. He can path all the way back here. Ah, there he is. Look at that. Very lucky.
level 13. I'm going to keep going into lethal shots. Ah, this bow is not as good. We'll take the sword to sell it. The reckoning is at hand. Nadia Shola, be ready for anything. The reckoning is at hand. Shorel Oran, we will have justice. All right, from here we can head down right into the Scorched Grove. How would we get there? Uh, we could probably just stick to the road, and then we'll bear left up ahead. It's interesting, I I've done these in a significantly different order this time around, especially since we had the hunter quest to do, we had to kind of segue to go do the hunter stuff, and because of that I've done these quests in a different order than I've ever really done them, and it's been pretty interesting. have you keep your wits about you a somber task these are difficult times for us rambles it was a very hard decision to burn the woods bordering the ghostlands to prevent the scourge expansion the treants who have been our friends for years are now trying to foster the regrowth of the forest along the scorched grove 
This is a painful thing to ask you, Hunter. But we failed to convince our former allies to cease their endeavors. I need you to stop them by the only means that remains to us. Death Force. To all who oppose us. So if they if they were to rebuild the grove, I guess that would give the scourge like something to spread through. I guess that's the whole premise. Is that they, they need this land to stay dead. Well, somewhere around here we're supposed to be able to find White Bark. White Bark, Wither Bark, whatever his name is. We haven't seen him yet. We have seen his corpse. So I'm kind of hoping that means he'll respawn pretty soon here. I'm gonna grind on the tree ends a little bit more while we see if a wither bark can respawn. At this point, it might be better just to turn in the quest that we do have done, and maybe we'll move on. Maybe we head out to Rune Order Darien, 
Uh, and then we have everything we can do on the other side of the zone. So we're, we're not... We're not moving on into the Ghostlands yet. We are at a level, thanks to the JJ, where like typically you would be moving into Ghostlands. Which kind of opens everything up. Um, but yeah, we still have stuff to do here on the other side of the zone. Let's turn this in and then we'll head that way. Victory lies ahead. Keep your Maybe we'll see White Bark on the way we back. Will have justice. Hold your head high. Powering our defenses. Ancient runestones once powered a protective barrier across the Eversong border. Many were destroyed during Arthas's attack. Others were stolen. One of the three that remain, of the three that remain, only this one has retained its power. The runestone to the east might be salvageable though. Take this crystal and instill its energy on the eastern runestone. The process should take but a minute. Beware though, nearby Scourge will be drawn to it and will seek to destroy it. We will have justice.
Uh, right, I, I always expect three waves on that one. But uh, only two waves. Let's head back. We'll turn this in. And uh, then we probably need to head back over to Farstrider Retreat. I think we want to do the stuff up here to the north first. What level is this? 10? Everything is level 10, it seems like. But I do think we should take care of this area. Ah, uh, for that, I don't know if hearthing would be a good idea. It could be. Hearthing could be a slightly shorter run. Maybe, maybe we'll do that. Actually, where is our hearthstone set to? Falcon Wing Square still. Okay. Let's try to, to drop these guys. Not really a big reason to fight them. Excellent. The defense should hold off the scourge a bit longer. Thank you for lending us a hand. Stay the course. Okay, so all that stuff is done. We didn't get the pendant. Let's hearth back to Falcon Wing Square. And we, we can make the run to Farshire to retreat from there. Now the Spearcrafters Hammer, the Amani and the Sindori have a long history of mutual dislike and open hostility. That doesn't prevent me from appreciating a fellow craftsman's work. I've come across pieces of Amani weaponry and I must admit I'm impressed by the quality of their work. 
It is rumored that that spearcrafter Otembe wields a magical hammer that is so light and well balanced it allows him to work with great dexterity and efficiency. If you bring me this tool, I'll use it to craft you a weapon. A crappy weapon, but okay. Our enemies will fall. The Magister's Apprentice. Hunter, hear my request. For reasons that I cannot go into now, I decided to shut down my nearby school. A few days ago, I sent one of my pupils, Apprentice Lorathilis, there with this very task. I have not heard back from her since. Will you go to Duskwither Spire and check on her, to make sure that she is well? You'll find it by heading north on the path out of Farstrider Retreat. Keep your wits about you. Baladash Malinore. Where is Withelin? The dust where the groundkeeper has gone missing. Someone must have forgotten to tell him to leave when the magister and everyone else did. I know he's still somewhere around on the grounds, but I dare not go looking myself with all these magical creatures roaming about. Salama Ashalinore. Remember the sun well. And deactivating the spire. As you know, Magister Duskwither sent me back here to shut down the power sources that feed the spire. There are three of them, each located on a different place inside. Unfortunately, I appear to be too late, and Duskwither's spire has been overrun with strange magical creatures. While I haven't the expertise to accomplish this task, surely a hunter like yourself could do so easily. Surely. Let's go find the groundskeeper first. He has a kill quest for us. It's horrible, I tell you. Strange things happening in the spire. The magister and his apprentices run off, and then the next thing you know, the whole grounds are overrun with these magical beasts. And who told me? No one, that's who. Everybody forgets to tell the janitor.
Let's spend the talent point. Uh, for the next one, I think we'll start going into mortal shot so we can get down to aim shot. You've discovered what appears to be an investigative journal left behind by Magister Duskwither. A brief scan of its contents reveals some shocking attempts at filtering corrupted magical flows which might explain what has happened here at the Spire. The Magister is sure to want this brought back to him. Yes. Keep your wits about you. I can't be certain from a distance. Have you already shut down the spire? We have. Be ready for anything. I am grateful to you for your assistance, but saddened to hear that some of my fellow apprentices have fallen to their addiction. With the power of the spire cut off, I think I'll stay here a while and see if things calm down long enough for me to sneak in and retrieve their remains. The reckoning is Gruesome. I have one last task of you. Would you please relay what's happened here to Magister Dusk with her back at the Farstrider retreat? Yes. Anubilore Delana. Farewell. Remember the sun well. Ah, yes, he burns the book that is proof of his crimes. Because that's what you do. The eternal sun guides us. 
The dark times will pass. State your business. Glory to the Sindori. The eternal sun guides us. Your gold is welcome here. All right, guys, this is going to be a good place for a break for today. Next time, we will tackle the rest of the quest here on the eastern side of Eversong Woods. We'll finish up with the trolls, and after that, we will be heading into the Ghostlands. We have to kind of be careful here, because I feel like a couple of the quests are, yeah, level 10. So if we hit level 17 somehow, and we're still working on this stuff, we need to go to Ghostlands by level 17 so that we don't miss out on any of the introductory quests. That is the plan for now, guys. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate all of the support. If you are digging the series, leaving a like, a comment, subbing to the channel, all of those things help me out immensely, and I appreciate those that do. Until next time, take care of yourselves out there in the real world, and take care of each other, and we'll see you back in Azeroth again very soon. Bye for now.